rules of anarchy. As I have explained in several of my videos, anarchy is not pandemonium, though the controllers have worked hard to conflate the two. Anarchy, from an, meaning no, and archon, which means ruler. No ruler, supporting the idea that we are all sovereign. For when you have no ruler, you are the crown of your domain. This does not mean that there are no rules you are required by aggregate society to follow. Out of nature come three areas of behavior that absolutely no one would say would be okay to be done to them. The first is the hurting or killing of their flesh without fully informed consent. No one would say that is fine by them. The second is the taking of what is theirs by another without that fully informed consent. No one is happy when stolen from. The third is being defrauded in some way, and that can only happen without our fully informed consent. So in a society where all are sovereign, if one breaches these things or any one of them, one loses sovereignty. And in a society following these rules, few problems will emerge. In such a society, all rights are preserved. I call these emergent rules the three laws of ethics, for surely doing any of these things is unethical, and I can't think of anything that does not break these rules, these laws, that is unethical. Let me know if you can. So in anarchy, these are the rules, the three laws of ethics, and there's nothing to fear in a society grounded in ethics. No one will hurt you or kill you if you and all other ethical ones protect one another. No one will take or damage your stuff if you and all other ethical ones keep an eye out for evidence and report what you find. No one will defraud you, lest, when found out, all ethical ones who care deliver ethical consequences to the fraudster. The thing in our present society that creates the greatest breaching of ethics is money and the power over others it offers. Enough of us will hurt and kill for money. Enough of us will take stuff that does not belong to us alone either money directly, or stuff with which to get money. And surely, enough of us will defraud for it, in the small con and the big. The sad thing is that, though we now have technology to end accounting for our energy added, to cease the use of money, the psychopaths in control hide and suppress free energy technologies, Free energy equals no point to accounting for hours. The big con is going on through the psychopaths who have taken control of our planet's wealth. It belongs to us, but... They're holding it in trust. A very ironic word is there is nothing trustworthy in what they did and are doing to humanity. The big con is far greater than just keeping our wealth from us and making us slaves. They build a completely false reality. They have given us theories and published textbooks that say the theories are fact and never let on that they are not. They teach us that we cannot be safe unless someone rules us, telling us what we must and must not do. But, in fact, we are responsible for our own safety, and if we abdicate that to others, they will seize the power and become tyrants. Thus emerges our right to arm our crowndom as we see fit. Our crowndom is our self and possessions. It is our family, our friends, and others who may be too weak to defend themselves. We are responsible for that. Abdicating our crowndom to any other radically increases the probability we will be abused, 
especially in any moneyed system. The good news is that at any time you can withdraw your consent from being ruled and reclaim your sovereignty. The bad news is that until enough of us stand sovereign, they will have the bully power. They can bully the few. But when enough of us make our sovereign stand, protecting others from bullying, they will be powerless. Needless to say, I am working towards that goal here on our planet. A true anarchy. A society of ethical sovereigns. I call for all who can to experiment with free energy and give successes to humanity freely. No patent filings to alert the psychopaths. I call for all to stand sovereign, withdraw consent from political and legal things, and consent to the three laws of ethics. I call on all of you to share awareness that we can build vastly better here than this dystopian control grid they are now implementing. We can take membership in the Society of Ethical Sovereigns. See the link in the description. We can build so much better, but we will not until we aggregately choose to. The question is, do you have the strength of character to do this? Or are you so indoctrinated your will does not function? For details on what we can build, see the playlist on my U-Toilet channels or my work on BitChute. And help share awareness. It is a help however small it may seem to you. Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity Love Always Humanity Will Win